How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I love your t-shirt. I'm going to say thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. A um, bunch of questions. I want to first start with, I'm very happy you got to make the sequel. It's a ton of fun. I hope it's a huge hit. Um, thank you. You produced this, and I am curious, what do you do as a producer when your stars won't come out of their trailer or are complaining about craft services? Oh my goodness. Thank goodness I am able to work with wonderful people. Um, there is not one person on that set that ever plays up. Um, luckily, we work with real actors uh, and real professionals, so um, we are never hit with that issue ever the you only big receiver is covid that just comes in sweeps our sets and that's the only that's the only thing we tackled other than that no actors were making were harmed in the making of this film you and henry look like you're having so much fun working together and uh i remember talking to you after the first nola you were hoping to make a sequel now that you've made a sequel how much are you hoping to continue playing enola and being able to make another one I mean, obviously, I really hope so. I love Enola. And I know that now people are very much invested in the character and the plot. And I can only hope that Netflix, you know, provides that trust and opportunity once more. You've obviously been playing Eleven for a while. You've now played uh, Enola. You know, uh, you've been playing two characters a lot over the last few years. And I'm curious, are you excited about the possibility of doing when Stranger Things wraps, being able to do all these different roles? Or are you sort of like going to be incredibly sad because it's been such a huge part of your life? It has been a huge part of my life and it will it will be sad for the most part, but there is an inkling of me being able to finally let go of her and being able to free up some of my schedule to be able to tell some stories of my own. Um, you are working with the Russo brothers now, big fan of those guys really excited about Electric State. Uh, what was it about that material that said, I need to do this? The fact that they were so dead set on me playing her, just the fact that trust in a director with an actor, it's really unheard of. And I don't really get to experience that very often. So the fact that they wanted me um, only made me want them even more. And to be able to have that opportunity to make this movie with them, has been such an amazing experience. Um, and it's just been like a really good collaborative effort. You know, it feels, feels like I'm actually working with, I mean, real, real experienced, experienced team. Um, their team is incredible. The directors are amazing, obviously. And I've got an amazing uh, cast to be alongside. Last question for you. You've done so many cool shots through your, your already uh, great career. Uh, which shot ended up being the toughest for you, whether it be because of a camera move, whether it be because of the emotional need of the scene? I'm just curious, which was the shot? Do you know, I did a really difficult shot just now on Electric State about last last week. It was really hard, maybe one of the hardest I've ever had to do. Um, I, I got it um, in the end, but but just very technical um, and required a lot of uh, a lot of people, a lot of time, a lot of Actually, in the first you Nola, know, I also had a very difficult so shot where I had to talk to camera while crossing the road and not being hit by horses and carriages. Very tough. Um, on that note, I will just say congratulations. I really hope it's a huge hit and you guys get to make another one. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Cool. Have a great day.